Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Courtney if you're new here. Today we are on part four of this series of unboxing these thread up 200 pound bulk mystery clothing boxes. I've already cut this one open. This one was by far the heaviest one out of the four. So hopefully that means good things because if you've seen the other three, let's wish for this one to be good. I did just get finished filming two of them. So this is the third third one. Well, it's the fourth box, but it's the third one I'm filming tonight. So we're just gonna go ahead and get on into it because that's what we're all here for. Let's hope for some good stuff in it to, to resell. I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. Mainly eBay though. That's where I get the most of my sales. This first thing already looks like it has a stain on it. I'm pretty sure it does. Don't think that's a rose print because that's <laughs> almost what it looked like to me. Pretty sure that's stained. But it is a jean, dark jean denim skirt by Halogen, size two. I don't know if that'll come out. Well, if it's worth messing with, I will put it in the wash and if it comes out, it comes out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I will be taking some stuff most likely to Play-Dohs, but we don't really have anywhere else to take anything. So I'll be listing as much of this as I can. The next thing out of the box is Banana Republic Factory. Is it Factory or Outlet? I keep mixing those up with J. Crew. I don't know, but it's a size two. It looks like an older style style of jeans. It too has some stains. In my other boxes so far, I haven't got much with stains on it. And right now we are already two for two. So. Hopefully that is not the outlook of this box. This is from August of 2007, in case you were wondering. So I was right that it looks older. <laughs> oh, I really hope I can make my money back because these are not cheap. I did get these on sale and I got these, all four of these boxes came from Phoenix, Arizona. They were on sale. They took forever to get here. I got a $5 credit for my next purchase. They emailed me without me saying anything for the delay. Then they put them all at the basement. So we're filming in my basement makeshift eBay room that's not finished, hence the holes in the wall up there. Anyway, Ann Taylor size four, very beaded tank top shirt. Next out of the box, we have this little thing. And it is, I think that's Mossimo size medium, so that would have been Target, but it is definitely an older tag. But because of the style, I'll still look into it. We'll look into that. Here's a new with tags, universal threads, size four. But since it's new with tags, I'll probably still list it as long as there's nothing wrong with it. Some jean shorts. Got some more jeans. These are Maurice's 20 regular. And Maurice's jeans aren't terrible. I mean, they're expensive in the store, so. And because of the size, I will probably still list these as long as they're good, of course. This would be where a lot of the wear is and there is not much at all, if any. So that'll be okay. We've got something that's navy. Banana Republic Factory size four. Little skirt. It's got this tie here too. I got a ton of skirts in my last box, I feel like. At least it felt that way. When you're unboxing them, you kind of get tunnel vision sometimes. This is a size small, um, no brand, pleated plaid yellow skirt. No brand at all in that and doesn't look like it would be anything. Next we have black and white strapped, time and true size extra small dress. So Walmart dress. This actually looks really comfortable. <laughs> But as far as resale goes, not there. Then we have Lands in size six, some shorts. I think those are lemons, I would assume. Got another skirt here, gap size one. And this pink and ready color. These are some funky shorts. I like it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> these are J. Crew Outlet size four city fit stretch, but I don't. There's not. Any, there's not really stretch, so I wouldn't call this stretch. But that's a funky pattern that I think is kind of cool, just like the style, you know, with these yellow buttons. I feel like that would be okay, possibly. 
not the right season right now. This is Verona size small. So Target, I think, right? Got some more jeans. Liz Claiborne, four short city fit straight leg jeans. Banana Republic petite size six. This pleated skirt. Actually feels kind of cool. I like the look of those. Got a t-shirt. Morona size small again. Was that other one size small too? It's the same style, so if it's worth doing, I'll do it. This is a blue one and we'll lot them together. Don't know that it will be, but we'll see. I'm hoping for something good in this heavy box. This one is BP medium, not to be confused with the gas station. Just kidding. <laughs> there is a little crusty crust on there, but that comes off. One of these long flowy cardigans, got some slits in it. And I'll show you the tag in case it is something. If it is, I will put the comps up on the screen. This one is Andrea Jovine, size small, made in India. That's intriguing to me. Just the tag. Just a basic t-shirt though. This is a dress, J. Crew outlet, size zero. Pretty floral. That looks like a good Easter dress. Um, it's thicker too. It's got some weight to it. I don't see anything wrong with it though. Um, a new day, extra small. So Target, I believe. Slinky black spaghetti strap dress. It does have a pattern on it, florally pattern there. We've got some jeans, seven for all mankind, I think. Seven Lux. These look kind of older though, cut off. I don't know if they're meant to be. I think they are. They look like they are. And they are a size 14. They do look older. So we'll look into those and see. New with tags, universal thread, size large, short sleeve shirt. And this like camel brown color. Up next, we got some Uniqlo new with tags, size. 28 inch. They retailed for $39. Little jean shorts in a light wash here. Also cut off style. Next we got loft, loft size two in a jean skirt with little pockets. This does seem older to me, but I think it's a cute little style for a skirt. Don't see anything wrong with it. This one has a lot of like fuzzy lint on it, but it is J. Crew outlet size two black pants, yellow loft size two skirt. That one's fun too. I love the style of some of these skirts. They just don't have great resale value, but I really like the style of some of these skirts in these boxes a lot of times. Next we have Ann Klein size four black pencil skirt. I have gotten so many of these and I said it last time that it would be very interesting to pull out all of the black pencil skirts and see how many I have out of the four boxes. Next we have new with tag Old Navy. I think these are maternity. Yep. Size medium maternity shorts. We do have a buy sell trade or yeah, I think it's buy sell trade um, store that is baby and toddler stuff that they take maternity stuff to. So that might be good for that. But I've also sold maternity things decently well. Not for a lot, but they do sell. Especially, well, some of them do sell for a lot depending on what brands, but and I know for myself that I was trying to find specific pieces when I was pregnant the three times too, so it does sell. Next, we've got BP, size small, little crop, whatever this is. Tank top in this orangey color, burnt orange. Got something that looks intriguing over there. I'll get that next, just because I mentioned it. <laughs> um, okay, let's see, what do we got? We have... Thrive Society, size small. I'll let you guys see that too, because it looks different than what I've seen in here. Some kind of cardigan. Well, I'm not even sure. Sweater type situation going on. Like a, what are those called? Wrap, a wrap shirt instead of wrap dress. It's really soft though. I'll go ahead and pull out this because it looked interesting. 
This is Beck and Bridge, size six. And if you know this off the top of your head, I'm sorry, because it looks nice um, and it might be something, but I don't know. So if it is, I'll put some pumps up. And here is the tag, little jacket blazer type thing. I don't know the difference with blazer, I guess. I don't know, peacoat, not really. I'm trying to see, we got some detailed buttons here. It's black and then this camel color. Got a couple of fuzz, but overall, so far, the lining looks okay. Okay, this is 60% wool. The main part is 60% wool, 40% viscoff. The lining is 100% acetate, and then the tabs are 100% leather. Dry clean only. So that might actually be something. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we finally got something. I will have to look that up. Put that over here to get to quicker. This one is new with tags J, J Crew Factory and doesn't show the price, but it is a size zero petite in a red dress. A lot of these are petite, and sometimes that can be good or bad because you know, like I know for tall, like I do for jeans, I'm always looking for tall jeans and they're hard to find. So maybe that's the same case with petite. I don't know. I have sold a few petites, but definitely haven't had this made. So this one is Avenue size 26, 28, olive green shirt. It's got some kind of pattern up here and some tassel -y things. Okay, Owen is dancing or something on top of us. It sounds like some tap dancing going on above our head. So sorry if you hear that. Next we've got FP Beach Extra Small t-shirt we've got a sweater here that is pieces size small little button-up sweater seems kind of fuzzy very fuzzy it's got some a lot of colors in it it's polyester and poly recycled polyester and polyester there you have that got some more sweat is this one heavier because there's so many sweaters <laughs> this one's express extra small chunky sweater. Here's another one. I didn't take the paper out, sorry. Oh, this one has tags. It's from Kohl's. It's a size extra large. So goods for life. Extra large sweater is what the tag says. And honestly, that looks really cozy. And if I can find something to wear under it, that might end up being mine because I'm sure that doesn't do Good reselling, but we'll see. And it is really soft and cozy, y'all. I know this doesn't match what I'm wearing, but we just gonna put it on for a second. Okay, it's definitely oversized. It's definitely one of those oversized ones, but how cozy, right? I know you guys can't see it all. It's a nice little mom sweater to run out of the house in the morning to take the kids and that sort of thing. Moomano. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Little shirt, ribbed, ribbed shirt. I don't see a size. So there's that. Next we have an Air Public Factory size zero white pants with some of these button pockets in the back. That jacket made a chunk of this box go down. And we've got Lee Relax Fit at the Waist, size 24W medium, whatever that means. These are some brown pants. Next we got Khakis by Gap, size 2, I think, skin crop. This is divided, so I think that's H&M. Yeah, H&M, size small. This has some shoulder pads in it. This is St. Gillian, size 6. 100% silk, made in Korea, dry clean only. So interesting. It has a belt around it that I cannot get for you. There we go, somehow. Anyway, it's got like, I think it's black and tan on the top polka dots and then the bottom is a skirt style. And then it's got the fitted belt for around the waist somehow. So since it's 100% silk, we'll definitely look into that. 
I don't see anything wrong with it off the top of my head either, so yay, I guess. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. Looks like a small hole, possibly. I don't even think you can see that in the underarm. Or maybe not. It might not be an actual hole. It just looks like some of the threads are getting loose right there. So I don't think that's a complete hole. Next, we've got Diane von first. I can't ever say this word. Diane von Furstenberger. And I've never actually seen any of this in person, but I do know that she is good in the dresses. Don't know about the tops. We'll definitely look into it. But I'll show you the tag because she is good in other areas. We'll see about this one. Um, it's a size 10, I believe. And it is 100% silk also. So there's something. So that might be good. And then we got another something, something. This is Old Navy, the tunic shirt, size small, purple, very wrinkly. This is, I like this print on it, but that's just me. <laughs> this is Hollister Extra Small, and it does look like one of those from back, back when I was in school. Oh, it's not a, that is not a shirt, that is a romper. It's got a little shorts in it, actually. That's kind of cool. Long Tall Sally. Never heard of that either. I'll show you the tag. It is a US size 16. Getting some very long. Okay, Long Tall Sally. <laughs> long Tall Sally is very long. It looks like a wide pant leg. <laughs> that just made me laugh because of the name and how tall they were coming out of the box. Can you see that? There we go. Navy pants. Like that is longer than me, y'all. This is super duper long. I'm five nine and a half, so this is made for somebody even taller than me. Molly Isadora 4X floral black shirt with a little tie around it. I'll show you the tag before I get into the details. Looks like some loose threads around the arm, but I think that'll be able to be clipped off and be fine. Um, it does have a little tie for around the front. Oh man, I don't know if this is anything good or not, but it is completely ripped. <laughs> completely. Next we got the Mona jeans. Oh, the, <laughs> that's not the brand. These are Adriana Gold's, Adriano, Adriano Goldschmidted. I, I know I'm butchering this name and I've heard of it too. Adriana Goldsman is what I'm going to say. <laughs> and these are a size 29 regular. The tag there, they are a wide leg it looks like. We'll definitely look those up. It's a smaller size. Buttons have an AG on it too. Little snap buttons. Let's pull out this little hoodie. This is Valiant. Bellino, Bolino. <laughs> oh, these names of stuff. Size so small in this like minty green color little hoodie jacket. Got a little Morona. Size so small sweater from Target, I believe, is what it used to be. This looks cute. Um, this is always indigo. Possibly, it's a P, it says PL, so petite, large, possibly in a dress. Here's the tag. It's kind of cute. I'm sure you saw this before I did when I held it up to you, but there is a hole right next to the buttons. Because it's right next to the seam, you might be able to fix it, but sad, sad thing. Got a new with tags. Trashy Diva by Candace Gwynn. And it is a size zero. It's actually kind of cute though. It's got like cactus on it or something. It looks like it. I think that maybe, I'm not sure. That's. <laughs> uh, is that cactus? Here's the print on it if you can see that. And then here is the tag. Oh man, 
Okay, it has $181 marked out and $126 written on it. So that might actually be something. Let me look over it better now <laughs> that we saw the press tag. Some of the thread in this top part is coming out. Might just be one of those cases where you mark it down a little bit and it'd still be worth selling because it's, I mean, that'd be hard to notice as long as it doesn't pull further. And you just obviously disclose that. This is a very worn out sweater is what it looks like to me. This has got a lot of wash wear on it and it's probably gonna take me a minute to find the actual opening for this. Where is the top? <laughs> this is so confusing. Okay, I don't see any name of any sort. So I got this sweater with no actual name in it. It's no idea. Okay, so there you have it. <laughs> um, next we've got vintage extra, oh, ex all navy vintage extra small t-shirt just a basic t-shirt bebe or bb whichever you want to say extra extra small black dress it's got some see-through fabric here in the middle and around the back as well here is the tag it does have the actual tag too it doesn't have price though it looks like it's cut off got some jean shorts citizens of humanity size 29 citizens of humanity by jerome dehan i don't know the name but there you go oh this is my third box my back's starting to hurt <laughs> next we've got airy size small teal shirt with some detail around the neck old navy size small petite shirt new tag tahari size two petite or tahari arthur saint levine it did come with tags it says msrp is 118 dollars it's a navy dress we'll still look it up it looks okay looks to be actually new tags got another molly isadora shirt in a size 4x again hopefully this one isn't like completely ripped around that but it's purple floral let's check that thing again this one seems that side is intact don't want to speak too soon and unfortunately this side is shredded again what is up with that got another tahari new tag size 4 dress in this corally red color, kinda. The detail there, zip up down the back, and it says $129. It's okay, the color on here says poppy red. <laughs> Ashton Nova, size small, medium. Nothing exciting with that one, brown. And then we got some buckles here. It's a size large. I don't see a brand. I don't know what's going on. Is that a skirt? <laughs> I'm having the hardest time with some of these clothes figuring it out. It is a skirt, black mini skirt. Next, we have another new tags Iris dress, Los Angeles. Iris, yeah, that is the brand. Size small. Looks like a fun. Funky, blingy, purpley pink. I think it's purple. Yeah, purple. Old Navy size small. In the buffalo plaid pattern. This looks cozy. Alfani intimate size medium. Looks soft. It's gray and white on the sleeves. Very soft. Next we got something purple. Oh, just kidding. We'll do this one first. This is Sheen New Tags size two. Size two. Tiny little crop top. Next we've got K 
candies, size small, and this looks like an older outfit. <laughs> Banana Republic Factory Luxe Spun Size Small Black Basic Shirt. I think we've gotten a few decent pieces in this box. Ooh, what is this? Ooh. Um, is it going to even matter what I tell you it is? As you wish. Size medium. With some nasty stuff inside. Some, you hear it? A exhilaration size medium little frilly dress here was exhilaration target also I, I can't remember it's been a while then we have billabong one of those little shawls this is fun I like that I like the pattern and it's soft and cozy got another gap Skinny mini, size too petite, navy pant. We've had a few of those along the way. This is Kenneth Cole Reaction, size small. Little flannel top shirt, but not really. Um, it's soft though. This next one is Banana Republic, size too petite. In a jean dress, I think. Well, made to look like jean material, but not actually jean material, maybe. Um, it's got a tie around the waist, buttons all the way down. That's kind of cute, and it's not factory, so we'll look into that. This is a little pant jumpsuit type situation going on. It's a Chico's size 3, which it says is like a size 16, 18. It zips down the back, too. I'll bring it up closer so you can actually see. The color and the feel, it's very, very, very stretchy. That's kind of fun. Chico, I'm not sold Chico's, but I think it does decent for some people. I'm not came upon any, so that's just the only reason I have it. This is a pair of cut trouser shorts, size eight, in a navy blue color. And I'll show you that brand too. Art class, I think it's kids. <laughs> Size 10, 12. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a kid's pantsuit. I've seen somebody wear this that I know. <laughs> and I'll keep this for consignment sale probably if I don't find somebody to give it to. Or I might look and see if it sells online. I'm pretty sure that's Target. So that's the second kid's piece we've gotten. So I'm pretty sure it's the second piece. Maybe more. J. Crew Factory Stretch. 25 short is the size, and these are some jeans. These are some jeans that have a floral pattern all down the side. These are Amber Chromium Fitch Signature Collection, size 27, size 27. And here is what they look like. Distressed as well, as you can see the hem too. The knees are distressed, yeah. Kind of cool though. These are BDG, and I don't know what that is, so if you do, I'm sorry. They are a size 27 high rise baggy in a white color. The rest of this after this piece is denim, also, and I do want to get a denim box. I think I mentioned that, but these are fairy pants with no size because it looks like it's cut out. They are stretchy, nice and stretchy in that brown Kimberly color. Another art class, so that's another kid's piece. Size 12, jeans, distressed, top man size, top man size 32 long, stretch skinny, jeans. Show you that tag. They are skinny. They look okay. Oh, just kidding. There's a lot of that puckering. Does seem to have a little bit of puckering around that area. 
We got a pair of overalls. That's always fun. We've got a pair of overalls. Now we just gotta find the tag inside of it. They're size small. But I'm not seeing a tag at all, like a brand. The buttons don't show it either. It just says jeans on the buttons. Okay, so no no name overalls, jean overalls in a size small. And last thing in here in this box is some page jeans, okay. In a size 31. These are comfortable, or at least they feel like it. But off the bat, right off the bat, there is some puckering on the butt, which means there's probably some in the front too. Well, no, I don't really see any in the front, but in the, on the back there definitely is. Yeah, I'll hold those up for you. Okay, I don't know whether to say this box was a little bit better or not, maybe just a little bit compared to the other boxes. You guys let me know if you've watched them all, what you think and what your opinion on the boxes as a whole are. You'll probably, we'll probably both know more by the time I'm editing this and see comps coming up on the screen. Um, so if you're still here, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And also let me know down below what other box you'd like to see me unbox and what your favorite box to get is. What one should I get next? <laughs> That'll actually possibly make me some money. I'm leaning toward the denim box. I want to get another one of those, but they've been out of stock. A lot of the boxes have lately. So if I get my hands on one of those, we'll probably do one of those. Let me know what your opinion is and subscribe if you haven't already. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye y'all.